All right, so today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm actually gonna be performing my own necropsy, so like an autopsy on a chicken. She's still alive, so I am actually going to um, humanely euthanize her. All right, so this is the hen in question. She's in pretty bad shape. She's really scraggly, her feathers are rough. And uh, she's been treated for lice, she's been treated for mites, she's been treated for worms. She gets fed a high quality diet. I can tell that she's just really pale. She's not laying. She has no meat on her at all. She's super, super skinny. And it's really sad because she's super friendly. Like she's a really nice chicken, but like she's in rough shape. She's kind of got like some frostbite on her comb. She just seems really, really miserable. And we've been trying for months to get her to kind of pick up. We've been adding extra protein to their feed. We've been doing all sorts of things, trying to medicate her, make sure she doesn't have any other issues. We've treated her for coccidiosis. We've treated her for respiratory issue. And honestly, she just doesn't get better. I mean, at first I kind of thought it was molting, so I blamed it on that, but clearly that's not the case. So it's kind of sad, but... I think today I am going to go ahead and put her out of her suffering. Like, she just, she'll sit in the coop or outside, and this is what she does all day. She just kind of does this. She's not happy, and I don't think this is quality of life for her, so it's time to let her go and, and make this an educational learning experience. So I will put her down and then we will go into the autopsy and see if I can find anything inside that gives me some clues as to why this is happening to her. Okay, I apologize in advance. This is a little bit graphic, so viewer discretion advised. If you don't want to see an animal die, tune out now. Nora, yes. Yes. All right, she's officially gone. Uh, she was gone quite early in that process. It just, they have like tremors and spasms after they're already passed on. So that's normal. I just tried to hold her still as much as I could while keeping her head down so that she didn't splatter blood everywhere. Part of raising chickens. So I plucked her outside a little bit, um, not a whole lot, so she's actually missing a lot of feathers. But anyways, look at that bone. Like, I know in laying hens it's supposed to stick out, but not that much. That's a lot. She has like no fat on her at all. No muscle even, like she's super, super thin. So that is not healthy. So let's get started. Um, obviously I'm not going to eat her. So I don't have to worry about being super finicky, but basically I'm just going to kind of start by um, getting her opened up here without puncturing her. Basically, I want to keep her organs kind of intact a little bit so that I can see anything that maybe looks abnormal. I'm kind of just like skinning her in a way. I kind of see that she's really, really thin here. Um, doesn't have a lot of meat on her at all. So now let's go into the body cavity. My gloves are too big for me. So when you're cutting into here, you want to be careful because you don't really want to nick 
an intestine. We are going to open up the intestine, but not yet. And I've never done a necropsy on a chicken before, but I have butchered quite a few chickens. So it's a little bit different because I wouldn't normally be doing butchering this way. Okay, so I'm gonna just go and grab my kitchen scissors. I'll be right back. Let's open up this rib cage here. Let's go on the other side of this one. So I'm trying to just cut through the ribs so I can open this up. Okay. So here we go. So this is her heart. Um, it's really small for the age of the bird. Very small heart. Lots of fat around the top of it. And I'm no expert on chicken necropsies, so I don't really know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm going to keep this on video so I am uh, able to look back at it when I do some more research. And I'm just going to set that in the bag. Okay, so this looks like this is her liver. This is her liver here. I'm just gonna remove some of the connective tissue here. Okay, so from what I can see of her liver, I don't see any extra fat on it, so there's nothing really wrong with her liver. There's like a decent amount of internal fat deposits here. So this is her gizzard. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out now. Carefully. And that is part of her intestine. So let's just cut that out. Okay, so here's your gizzard. Uh, a lot of fat around it but not overly, I guess, kind of, I think would be normal. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that open. <clears throat> I'm going to see if there's any grit in there, because if they're actually digesting their food, there should be grit in there. So I'll just cut that open a bit more. can't really see. I have to cut myself. Okay, so. Oh, yep, there's grit in there, a little bit. I'm gonna open it up a bit more. I wanna actually uh, feel what the inner wall feels like. It's super, super dry, like no moisture. I don't know if that's normal. I think the major thing to point out is that it's just super dry. I'll try to get a little closer up for you guys. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's really um, rough in here. It's not smooth walled at all. There is grit in there though. Okay, so that's that. <clears throat> Here I'm just examining, and I can see that there is quite a few cecal worms in here, and I'll open this up later. Can you get it out? Okay, here's a little kidney. I'm going to very gently open it. It looks normal to me. I don't see anything weird. Okay, I'm gonna open up some various parts of her bowel now and check for um, lesions or worms. So this could get gross. Just saying. There's things coming out of it. It's fine. Okay, so I'm just looking. I don't see anything abnormal in that 
that section. I'm going to keep looking. Open it up a bit more. Look through here. There's a lot of red. A lot of red veins. Really dark red veins. Okay, so that's interesting. It looks... Let's just pull it out a bit more. Ooh. Look what was inside of her. An egg, kind of half-formed. That's probably not good. That's probably not good at all. It's kind of got a shell on it, but like... Really squishy. This is going to be kind of gross, but I'm going to open it. Ooh, that's just like... A straight up like infection. Nice. Yeah, that's probably not normal. So that was just kind of hanging around in her body cavity. Okay, let's just open up another section of her bowel here. See what happens. When my daughter, she's having trouble going to sleep. Probably because they told her I was going to do this. But she wanted to be part of the act. So here I've opened up the cecal pouches and I'm just going through the fecal matter that was inside and I could see that they're really, really full of cecal worms. So I don't know if the worms were what caused her to suffer or if it was the worms and the egg, but I'm thinking it was probably both things. I am a little bit concerned because cecal worms can carry the disease called blackhead disease. So a lot of the symptoms that she was having could be attributed to that. However, I never noticed any signs on her comb or wattles or anything of any darkening or bluing. So I'm not sure if it was that or if it was just the egg inside of her or the worms that were inside of her. But throughout the rest of my examination, I never noticed any worms in any other parts of her body. So it's kind of a guessing game, but I think definitely the worms and the eggs being inside of her was what caused the problem. I apologize in advance that I had to mute the audio of the original video. My daughter was in the background crying a little bit and I didn't want people to get distracted by that. I promise I did go and check on her as soon as I was done this, but I wanted to get it done before I went and checked on her. Anyways, what I'm doing now is I'm just looking in where her crop is and her esophagus and trachea. I'm checking to make sure there's no lesions or um, any worms in her trachea, like gape worms or anything like that. So that's what I'm doing here. Here I've just pulled out a big piece of her trachea and I'm just examining it for anything abnormal like gape worms so little red worms that live in chickens tracheas and I didn't see any inside there now I'm just looking through her crop area and checking to make sure that there's food in it I had not withheld food before I decided to put her down so it is full of food which tells me that she was still eating In my very unprofessional opinion, I think the things that caused her to be so sickly were the egg that I found kind of just floating around in her abdomen. It wasn't even in her oviduct. It was just kind of hanging out in her abdominal area. 
and it was filled with pus. So I think that may have been sitting there for a while. Also, the cecal worms that were in her cecal pouches, there was a lot of them in there. So I think both of those things together just made for a very sickly, unhealthy hen. Thanks for tuning in to this educational video. I hope that it can help someone else that keeps chickens and has to perform a necropsy.